Hello crafty friends, welcome to my channel. This is Monica with Owl Make It Crafts and I'm very happy to have you here today. I know a lot of you have questioned or have wondered where I have been because I haven't posted videos in a little while, but today I wanted to come and share a video. So if you saw my last video, I shared this card um, of, you know, announcing the Clever Dexter Challenge towards the end of the year and I have not been able to make any videos recently, so I thought this would be the perfect opportunity. Um, so a lot of you that, you know, that haven't been following or don't follow me on any of my other platforms, such as my blog, my Facebook page, or Instagram, haven't been seeing what I've been posting or the things that I've been working on, as I have not done any videos. So I kind of, I, you know, feel... I don't know, a little bit out of touch right now with the crafting uh, and I'm trying to get back in the swing of things. So please bear with me as I go with it. So if you stuck with me and you're still, you know, here in my channel, I really do appreciate you having you here. I do appreciate you being here today and coming to see this video. So um, this video, I am, like I said, I'm showing you how I made this card. And this is another card I'm creating for the Clever Dexter Challenge. Um, only because I wanted to create another one to um, announce to you or for all of my new subscribers or all of the subscribers that have not seen anything about this challenge so that way you guys can participate. The challenge runs all month long so you have until the end of the month, uh, basically the 30th, to submit your project so that way you can participate in the challenge. And for those of you that do participate in challenges and enjoy doing it, I, I think that you're going to love it. And those of you that don't know what challenges are and would like to get started, well, this would be the perfect one to get started with. Um, you know, normally what they do or typically what they do with challenges is that they have a theme or a color scheme that you need to follow. Sometimes they have anything go, so just whatever you want to create. And um, you just submit your project, you create new friends, you show, um, you know, the different things that you can come up with. Sometimes they have like, you know, that you have to use a specific image and you can see the different ways that you can use that image. So it's a lot of, um, you know, creativity running around. So it's an awesome uh, thing to have that you can find it all in one place. Now, the Clever Dexter Challenge is a challenge that was created that, you know, that started this year, 2020, by Lizzie Love and Annie Dunn. Lizzie is the owner of Oddball Stamps and Annie is the owner of Doodle Daisies and Ink. And a lot of you have seen that I am part of the design team for both companies, which I'm very, very, you know, happy, proud, blessed to be part of because both ladies are amazing. And I love the images and the art that they come up with. So I, you know, I just want to support them as much as I can. And, you know, a lot of you guys know how much I love the oddball stamps uh, to start with. And I just fell in love with them. And Annie has also been creating super adorable images. So definitely check both of them out. But um, like I said, today I'm here to share with you the Clever Dexter Challenge. Um, they thought that, you know, having this challenge would be a great way or a great place for us to make new friends and to, you know, have a fun challenge for all of us to participate in. So I'm super excited for that. And um, this is done in a blog. So make sure that you guys um, go ahead and follow a link. I will leave a link down below with, uh, you know, where to go to the Clever Dexter blog. So that way you can see the rules uh, and everything to participate. This uh, month's theme is Gold Getter, and we have a sponsor, the Paper Shelter. And the image that they provided is goes very well with the new year. Super, super cute. So I already created a project, actually two projects with that, that are listed on my blog, and I also share them on Instagram. So I will leave a link down below if you'd like to check them out. But like I said, you don't have to follow particularly the theme or, you know, goal getter, whatever that means to you. Just create a project that um, kind of goes with that. You could use the color palette that they have. But again, you could use whatever you want. Um, also, if you use any of the images from our sponsor, if you already own any of their images, um, you would also get participated on the top three. So there's different different tiers or different ways that you can win um, and participate in the challenge. So make sure that you check the Clever Dexter blog for the details on that. And again, I will leave that link down below. So um, as you can see what I'm doing here, um, if you've been in my channel, you know that I love making interactive cards. And if you're new to my channel, you'll soon learn about that about me, that I love making interactive cards. So what I'm doing today is I'm going to be making one of those little spinner cards. And that's what I did here. Another thing I love about digital images is that you can manipulate them. 
In this case, I was able to flip the image so I can create a spinner and I have a continuous image all around. So my little Dexter, I sandwiched them, I sandwiched them both of them, <laughs> onto a um, clear thread. And then I am using my ATG gun here just to add a little bit of tape to the um, frame that I cut out with an oval die. So that way my little Dexter could spin around in there. And I'm just trying to fuss with it a little bit just to kind of see where I'm going to be putting him. Now for the background, I decided to cut this piece of uh, pattern paper and make it look like he was standing on that little um, pathway and he painted that beautiful scenery behind. So I thought that that was perfect. It was easier than me having to create a whole new, you know, background or, you know, uh, color it. So that's another thing that I love about um pattern paper or you know images like this or designer paper and this worked out perfect so I'm just here fuzzing with it a little bit so I can make sure that he's going to be sitting there okay and now I'm ready to sandwich this in there I'm going to be adding a little bit of glue just making sure that I added um, as close as I can to the um, section here so that way, uh, you know, it sandwiches in because I will not be able to move it after. So just making sure that I get every single corner or as best as I can. Putting it all together. Um, and there I go. So now, like I said, if you're new to my channel, I do appreciate you being here. I hope that you like to stick around. Um, consider subscribing and um, we look forward for my projects. Definitely would love to have you. And for all my, my, you know, previous subscribers, thank you so much. Hope everybody had a wonderful holiday season. Um, it, you know, it definitely takes a little bit of time to kind of get back in the, the swing of things because, you know, it, it usually gets hectic around the holiday. So I am glad to be going back. Now the kids started back in school. So yes, it's, it's, it's a process, but we're getting there. And like I said, I'm very excited to be sharing projects with you and hoping to come and make videos or as much as much or many videos as I can. But please bear with me and be patient. For those of you that have messaged me, um, you know, just seeing if I'm OK, I'm doing good. Thank you so much for your, um, you know, for your interest in looking out for me. I hope that everybody's doing good as well. And I'm looking forward to hearing from you in the comments below. Go ahead and leave me any comments. Feel free to email me at any time if you guys have any questions so you don't see uh, me around and you don't use any of the other other platforms. Um, definitely send me an email. My email will be down below and I'd love to hear from you. Um, what I'm doing here, I'm just adding a little bit of interest to the outside of the cart and I decided to use a green um, ink and I'm using this little stamp from one of the um, stamps that I have from... Julie Nutting, like I think these are the planner stamps. So it has this beautiful splatter and I thought that I would do it. Now I'm using this other piece of paper that came from that same pa um, paper pad that I use for the background. And I am just going to be creating a little banner to put a, a, a bit of a sentiment on the outside of the card and added some foam tape to pop it up. And I'm just going to add it here. And this just says live life or live a life you love. Absolutely, when you are painting how can you not love life that way right <laughs> or crafting or creating absolutely love it so here you're gonna see the magic happen or what i love about making these cards and he just spins you know it's nothing super fancy but i think it's super fun for uh for us to create cards like this that uh, the recipient will this will definitely put a smile on whoever receives this card and there you have it. So like I said, make sure that you guys check out my links down below so you can join the challenge. We'd love to have you join there. Check Instagram, check any and Lizzie Loves Post. And I hope to see you guys soon again. Bye-bye. <laughs>